What's happening everybody? Welcome back to Culinary Fitness for Kids. My name is Chef Dennis Berry. And I'm Chef Maya. That's right. She almost forgot who she was there for a minute. <laughs> anyway, we're doing some basic knife skills here. We're trying to keep it pretty simple for now and then we're going to get into some really cool stuff down the road. But for right now, we're going to do some how to cut green <laughs> bell peppers. Okay? Yeah, so it may sound pretty simple, but uh, I'm going to show you a cool little way that I like to do them, and then we're going to have Maya do it too, okay? So, look, there's the top of the green bell pepper and then the bottom of the green bell pepper. We're going to cut those off, okay? So I like to get really close, right up to the top there. See that? And then I want to get on the bottom. Same thing. We're going to push these parts to the side for now. And then I'm just going to make a slice down the side. You see how I'm doing that? Yeah. Look at that. Now we're going to take the knife, we're going to go inside here. We're going to cut the four ribs that always hold these uh, peppers together. Look at this. This is the whole inside of the pepper. We could throw that away. The seeds inside the pepper give it all the flavor. Well, I think. <laughs> she thinks. But you don't really want to eat these seeds all the time. On jalapenos, if you eat them, that's where all the heat is. Oh, that's yeah. what makes it that's really jalapenos. spicy. That's right. Not the green bell peppers, though. But this, you don't want to eat the seeds so much in the green bell peppers. You can if you want. Do you want me to get them for you? No. Okay. Anyway, look at this. So now we have this whole piece of pepper here, right? So now I'm just going to cut that in half. And we're going to do julienne. Julienne. Julienne is a cut of a vegetable that we call. It's a French term. Uh, it's a just vegetable that we call. A vegetable that we call. <laughs> Hello, green pepper. Are you there? <laughs> anyway, so anyway, we're going to take this. So julienne is a uh, basically just a thin cut of a vegetable and we use it, especially for peppers, we'll make things like uh, sauteed peppers and onions for like sausage sandwiches or something like that. Mm. These are really good. Okay, so look, now I have my peppers. I'm just going to go down the side here and I'm going to just make these Nice little julienne cuts. Make sure to use your claw hand. The claw hand, right? Because if you slip, you won't cut your fingernails or your fingers that much. That's right. Remember rule number one? Safety. Safety is rule number one. Also rule number one, don't cut any fingers off. That's the most important rule, right? Because you still want to count to ten. That's Uno, right. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good job. Oopsies. That's 10 in Espanol. Spanish. Spanish. Okay, cool. All right, mine's going to give it a whack now. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, so first, I'm going to use my claw hand. I'm just going to cut. So claw hand is really important, right? That's the term Maya just came up with. So claw hand is where you're using your, the, your fingertips as like a claw, okay? So it holds on to whatever you're cutting. It serves two purposes, right? One, you're holding onto your vegetable. So it doesn't slide around. So it doesn't slide around because when you're cutting something, especially with these really sharp knives like this, you don't want it to move around or you can... Cut your fingers off. And that is rule number... One. We don't want to cut our fingers off, okay? Cool, so the claw holds the vegetable in place. The other thing it does is it keeps your fingers inside, right? So if you were to cut like this and you're going down and all of a sudden your fingers are there, no more fingers. And then you just broke rule number one, which is don't cut any fingers off, right? Okay, so you gotta keep your fingers in. That way if you slip, you're not gonna cut your fingers, okay. right? So Maya's gonna demonstrate the claw hand to perfection here. Uh, uh. Okay. Now I will cut the bottom. Look oh. out, look at it. Now stop right there. You see the claw hand? Look how that, that's really a good example of how to do that. You see how her fingers are in and so is her thumb? It's gripping the vegetable so it's not moving around. It's not going to roll anywhere. And in case that she were to slip with the knife, she's not going to cut her fingers. Great. All and right, cool. This is also kind of rolly. That can be rolly. All right, so let's get that out of the way. Now we have to cut the inside out of the pepper, right? Now I just cut a little slit like that. Cut a little slit. And then I go around the pepper. Right, so I would do it like this. So we're gonna go, you always wanna have your knife away from you. So like oh. this, right? 
So we're gonna go in where you made that slit, and then go ahead. And just keep going, like yep. this, with the claw hand. That's right, that was one. Wait, slow down. Roll it a little bit. Right. Cut that rib out there, and now we roll it a little more. Carefully. Almost. Almost. Almost there? Almost, yeah, you can go on this side now. Just cut the rib, it's really very delicate. Look at that. Sweet! Metal. Yay! All right, good. Now we'll get rid of these seeds, unless Maya wants to eat them. Nah. No, she doesn't want those seeds. All right, cool. So now we have that. Now we're gonna make our julienne cut. Julienne! Julienne! Okay, now use your claw hand. Now the thing with peppers, sometimes the skin can be kind of Hard. So you can do it like this. If the if your knife isn't sharp enough to get through the pepper skin, you can flip it over. No, not the knife. You can flip the pepper over. Right. And then the knife can cut through this side of the meat much easier. But you always want to make sure your knife is sharp, because if it's not, you have a better chance of cutting yourself. She's right. I would listen to everything she's saying right now. You want to have a sharp knife because if you're using a sharp knife, it'll make the cut that you want it to make. If you're using a dull knife and you go to make a cut, the knife could slip if it doesn't grip what you're trying to cut and you can cut your fingers off. And what rule is that? Rule number uno. That's right, rule number uno. We don't want to cut any fingers off. Okay, awesome. So look at that. We just cut our bell peppers. Julian got Julian Cut, Knife Skills 101, Culinary Fitness for Kids. I'm Chef Dennis. I'm Chef Maya. And thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions about this or anything else, give us a call, send us an email, let us know, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. See ya! See ya!